When COVID first hit, the numbers all over the province went down. I don't know if people didn't quite realize that we were open still. Did you ever close during the pandemic? No, we did not. Most of our volunteers are seniors. We would ask them, it's up to you. And all our volunteers said, we're here. On Wednesday, we'll get uh a notification from the local food bank as to how many hampers and the makeup of those hampers so they'll let us know how many adults how many children and then on Thursday morning we deliver those hampers uh, to the local food bank here in Lamont. I'm a mom of five kids. Yancey and Bear changed places. My husband works away he's a welder with COVID he wasn't working so we had to reach out to our local food bank. They provide lots of school snacks and stuff and that saves big money so then you can catch up on your bills which aren't so forgiving. <laughs> There's definitely not a particular demographic that comes to the food bank. We see um, lots of single parents, working families, lots of seniors. I'm 68 years old okay and uh, I've had two strokes uh, four years ago. I've been retired since well, four or five years and the old security, old security is not really enough because I own a house and a truck and everything. You have to pay your bills before you get to have any food. If you don't pay your bills, you don't have lights or heat or you know taxes for the house and that, that adds up to a pretty penny. So. I get to ask about any other issues and things like that that they have going on in their life and I'm able to help support them in ways that go beyond food. I'm a carpenter by trade. I plumb, uh, I do other, other work. Um, I developed um, brain cancer and it set me on the, the path of age. My daughter's 15, my son's 14. Meal prep is easy if you're gonna make meals from the, the donations that come in. Never had a complaint about dinner or lunch. I'd love to say thank you to the local farmers. They are going above and beyond, especially during harvest season, to make sure that everybody, even without an abundance of money is getting what we need. And if some way, somehow, I can give back to the local community and support those people that need it right now and get them through this, you know, that, uh, you know, it's what makes you smile. It wasn't something I think that I thought out beforehand that this is what I would like to do, but now that I'm in it, I can't think of not doing it. Humility is a big thing you have to ask. And I encourage people to, if you're in need or help, uh, reach out, they will help you.